With a lot of changes made to their roster this summer, the Indiana Pacers have retooled on the fly. Their offense will still be built around Victor Oladipo as the main creator and offensive focus. One thing that is sure to improve around Oladipo is the spacing. This is what he was dealing with in the past, where he would have two bigs with limited ability to shoot spacing the floor on the baseline. That led their defenders to be able to help on Oladipo when he would drive in the middle of the floor. Teams would collapse and he'd have to kick out to Thad Young or Miles Turner. There were also times when both bigs would be on the same side of the floor, making it very difficult for Oladipo to drive that way. When he would drive there, someone would help from one pass away and be able to recover to the non-shooter. This was the old offense in Indiana, which we now expect to be phased out, where teams would help from one pass away and really make someone other than Victor Oladipo beat them. Didn't matter if he made the right pass and the right read, they need knockdown shooting. Well, the Pacers addressed those issues in signing Malcolm Brogdon and Jeremy Lamb and trading for TJ Warren. Take a look at some of the differences in their per 36 minute shooting splits from last year. The volume is going to go up by about 50% from last year's total without a significant dip in effectiveness. What I like most about this group is their ability and experience in punishing teams that help one pass away on great players. Brogdon had this experience in Milwaukee playing alongside Giannis Antetokounmpo. Jeremy Lamb was able to do the same in Charlotte flanking Kemba Walker. And neither of these guys are simply spot up shooters either. They can do something off the bounce. But spacing wise the floor is going to change by the addition of TJ Warren who the Pacers can play at the floor. He's a very good shooter who is able to punish defenses that help off one pass away, but he's also good from above the break and the corners. Nate McMillan can play TJ Warren above the break, something he couldn't do with Thad Young, which essentially allows a spread pick and roll in this type of formation. Help from Warren off one pass away, and he's going to make you pay. He's also able to do a little bit more off the bounce than Thad Young was, making him the perfect functional four next to a slasher like Victor Oladipo. 